guys! Alicia here with Terra Drip and a few rad new ways to filter nasty water in the backcountry. This video is sponsored by LifeStraw, by the way, so uh, just wanted to give you that heads up before we dive in. But these, my outdoorsy friends, are the newest outdoor water filter options from LifeStraw, the Peak Series to be precise, which includes a squeeze bottle with filter available in both 650 milliliters and one liter versions. This is the 650 milliliter, a three liter gravity filter system and a straw. <laughs> yeah, listen, I know they look cool, but let's break down what these puppies can do. For starters, the Peak Series is designed to take backcountry water filtration uh, to the next level. They are super versatile, feel way more durable than some of the other squeeze bottle type products on the market and are lightweight and sustainable to boot. The Peak Series products do pretty much everything you've come to expect from Life Straw gear, namely protect against bacteria, parasites, and microplastics in your water, but no viruses. More on that in a minute. And are durable and ultra compact. I mean, just look at how flexible and packable they are. Plus they come with a backwash tool so you can flush that filter out when it gets clogged. As for the more sciencey specs, rest assured that these are independently lab tested and BPA free. The filters have a pore size of 0.2 microns, which is exactly what you need. And while the filters in the bottle and gravity bag last for up to 500 gallons or 2,000 liters, the straw can handle double that before it needs to be replaced. As for what they do, well, exactly what you want a water filter to do, as in filter out bacteria, parasites, microplastics, dirt, sand, and cloudiness in your drinking water when you're filling up in the backcountry, or heck, at a faucet in an international destination. They all filter out 99.99999% of bacteria. Was that enough nines? Doesn't matter. We'll put the right amount on the screen below. 99.999% of parasites and 99.999% of microplastics, silt, sand, and cloudiness. But if your water is silty, sandy, or cloudy, you should really be pre-filtering through a bandana or coffee filter first. I mean, honestly, unless you want to clog your filter in 0.5 seconds and have to back flush it every time you use it. <laughs> they do all come with that backwash accessory though that allows you to flush out a clogged filter and bump that flow rate back up if it does start slowing down. Just, you know, BT dubs. You can of course get replacement filters for both of these guys when the originals are used up. The filters all feature an enhanced flow rate, an upgrade on previous life straw models, and not only are they leak proof, but that adaptable universal threading means each product is usable in a variety of situations and circumstances. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I freaking love a good multifunctional piece of gear, especially when I'm backpacking or traveling. Plus these things feel really durable and super duper flexible. In fact, LifeStraw says they won't puncture, tear, rip, crack, or burst. So that's rad. Only time will tell, of course, how they hold up to typical backcountry and travel abuse. But considering we busted through another brand squeezable filter bag after just a dozen trips or so, we feel pretty confident this one gonna last a lot longer. Plus all the products are super compact, which is great whether you're on a road trip and need to cram the three liter in the trunk or flying to Central America or backpacking in the mountains. I'm a big fan of gear that takes up less space, honestly. And while they're packable as is, you can also take the filters out to really dial in how your gear is all arranged and, you know, take your packing game to the next level. But let's go back to talking about the science. Right off the bat, let's be clear. These are not purifiers. They're filters, meaning they'll remove bacteria, parasites, microplastic dirt, sand, and cloudiness, as I mentioned, but not viruses. To kill those, you'll have to have a purifier too, but we'll link to a video we did about that science in the description below. As for what we thought of the Life Straw Peak series, after doing a little testing, I mean, dang, we liked them. First of all, the whole Peak series is way more versatile than I initially thought, which is <laughs> a little embarrassing. <laughs> Take the straw, for example. I thought it was mainly just for bending over streams and sipping like from, you know, a straw, but it can also be hooked up to a water bag, a hydration reservoir, or a plastic water bottle and used as an external filter system. I know, what? I actually have a collapsible squeezable bottle from CNOC and say I didn't have the LifeStraw collapsible squeeze bottle, the LifeStraw straw 
threads onto my CNOC and voila, a filter bottle. It works the same on a single use plastic bottle if that's all you have around. As for a bladder or water bag, just remove the bite valve or the spigot from the reservoir's hose, replace with the straw and ta-da, a gravity filter, which makes the straw kinda a do-it-all product, which I really dig. The less stuff I need to take with me on any given trip, the better. Do take note though that the straw may not fit on all hoses. While it coupled with my camelback and hydro pack just fine, it wouldn't work with my Mazama. The hose was just too small and rigid on that hydration reservoir. Anyway, the squeeze bottle is versatile too. You can drink straight from it, sure, or you can squeeze filtered water into a pot or other vessel or take the filter out entirely and use the filter like a straw. But you can also flip the filter to the outside of the bottle. It can hold more water that way, sure, but it also means you can squeeze out every last drop. Just unscrew the cap, remove the filter from the cap, pull out the bite nozzle, screw the filter back onto the cap, and stick the bite nozzle on top of the filter. And the filter threads onto a typical plastic water bottle too! Like, whoa! <laughs> Did I just blow your mind or what? <laughs> The filter is also the same one that's in the gravity filter, so you can swap them out if need be. And speaking of the gravity filter, it also has more than one function. <laughs> Would you expect anything less at this point? I mean, honestly. Yes, you can use it as a durable gravity filter system, of course, but it also works as an extra large squeeze filter if you need to fill up, say, a large pot with water. And if you remove the filter, you can use it as a typical run-of-the-mill water storage bag. Plus, it has a standard quick connect adapter at the end of the hose for hooking up to other hydration devices and a hose clip to stop water from flowing when you don't need it to. As for actual use, I mean, how could you not love products with this much versatility? But more than that, they were easy to use. Stiffer material on the tops of the bottles offered a solid structure and surface to hold onto during filling, so you didn't just squeeze all the water right back out. Plus, the material is super flexible but feels like it can really take a lot of abuse. I mean, way more than your typical hydration bladder. The only thing that could maybe use a little beefing up is the cap attachment points on the squeeze bottle and straw. They seem fairly robust, but of all the possible failure points, that's probably the weakest. Not that I expect it to give out any time soon, I'm just saying. It's there. As for the straw, the bottom lid is a bit difficult to pop off, but hopefully that'll loosen up over time. On the gravity filter, I thought I was going to be disappointed by the fact that the leak-proof screw top wasn't secured to the rest of the vessel in any way. I mean, that's a surefire way to lose small parts, right? But then I realized you can just clip it right onto the attached carabiner when not in use, so there you go, problem solved. The carabiner that, by the way, offers versatility when planning where to hang your filter at the campsite via this handy adjustable carry strap. Basically, all the parts and pieces required are built into the design, so you won't need a bunch of adapters and additional accessories and stuff. Which is a win. Obviously. On top of all that, LifeStraw puts an emphasis on sustainability and humanitarian efforts. For example, for every 500 products they sell, they distribute a LifeStraw community purifier to a school in need, which provides safe water to 100 kids for five years. Put another way, one purchase of a LifeStraw product provides a year of safe drinking water to a child who doesn't have access. LifeStraw is also a certified climate neutral brand, so <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely think you should go check out the entire new Life Straw Peak series. I mean, like all of it is dope. We'll put a link in the description below, as per usual. But before you go, we would love it if you hit the thumbs up and click subscribe, then rung that lol bell. We would so appreciate it. And feel free to drop a note and say hello while you're at it. Then, we'd love it if you followed us on all the socials, like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at TerraDrift on all of them. And be sure to check out TerraDrift.com where you'll find all sorts more content that isn't here on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching. Now get out there, drink water with fewer contaminants, and wander on. But it doesn't drip out. Look, that's from the outside of the bottle, I swear. You gotta like squeeze it to get it out. Whoop, like that. Ah, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go fill this up now and drink an entire bottle because I'm very thirsty. So stay hydrated, friends. Yeah, and filtered. <laughs>